Hello YouTube, Retro Reclaimer here, I'm back, finally got another video. Um, filming this through the mirror just because you can see, you can see that I exist still. Um, I've not done a video for ages and I've finally got a games room. So there's been a lot going on obviously, I've been married, obviously I've been on honeymoon, changed my job sort of, well post, which is like a brand new job. Uh, and I've also moved so that's why there's been no content at all. I've not really watched loads of videos neither so... Um, I've got a lot of catching up to do, uh, but yeah, we've got a games room tour for you, so we'll come out the bathroom and we'll go to the front door because that's where everyone starts. We always start at the front door, everyone likes to see that, so I'll show you that first and then we'll go through. I'm obviously very, very lucky to have a games room. Not all people have these. Uh, we're lucky to have a spare room which ain't being used and so games room it is. So what I'll do then, we'll just do a quick pan around so you can see everything before I you know, go into detail and then I'll start from one end and work my way around. Um, really really happy to finally have this games room since I've started collecting which is probably not far from two years now. Uh, this is, you know, I've been collecting thinking yes I'll have a games room soon, I can set it all up and I've now finally got it all set up. Uh, there's still a bit of work to be done uh, but Really, really like it as it is, and and yeah, I've got somewhere now I can just play my games with ease rather than bringing the boxes out of the attic. All right, so we'll start at this side then. Obviously, that's the door which is now closed. This is an empty fish tank. Yeah, there's nothing in it, and it's pretty dull. But we're gonna have it's gonna be half filled with water. There'll be a bit of land, and we're gonna have a little turtle, uh, little turtle terrarium there. So that'll look really cool, especially with the light. It's just. It's an addition to the games room, which I don't, you know, I've not seen these in any Yeah, as far as I know, I'm the only one with a fish tank in my games room. Uh, so yeah, well, not a fish tank, turtle tank. Um, wallpaper at the back, obviously it's not game related at all. Uh, as you can see, just over there, it says Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas is where we went to get married. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'd incorporate that a bit into the games room because it's not it's not just a games room, it's a little little man cave. Uh, and I absolutely love Las Vegas, so I seen that wallpaper and thought, yeah, let's let's put that up. Uh, and so that's for the uh, jazzy background there. Uh, moving along from the turtle tank, then we've got a stand. On this stand, I keep my SNES games. Uh, I don't have any box SNES games, so all the SNES SNES games I've got uh, literally just stand alone. Uh, I'm not going for them all, but I've got Bomberman, Terranigma, uh, Super Mario Kart, and then in here we've got a like, Street Fighter, a uh, Plot, uh, some more Bomberman. Uh, that's just a bunch of card things I made. Uh, and then here we've got Pokemon videos. I don't have a video player, so I'm never ever going to watch these. Uh, but I just got them just for the collection, I, mean, I just thought it was a cool thing to collect. Uh, I love Pokemon, I used to love Pokemon when I was younger, all the films, everything, and I just thought, you know, it was cheap, I mean, you're talking a couple of quid on eBay, so I thought, why not, because you, you never know when, when they'll all be rare and they'll all be gone and hard to get hold of, uh, but whilst I've got, you know, a games collection, I might as well collect stuff like that as well, so, not so much these, these just came with it, uh, but yeah, I wanted these three. Um, Underneath that we've got my Mega Drive games, they're all box complete, I, I, I know it's it's a bit silly trying to like, collect box complete Mega Drive games but um, I'll just get as many as I can, I just want a pristine collection, I don't want loads of junk so as you can see the SNES games just don't look as good as, as what they do like in the cases with the with the manuals and everything so just don't put one up, like, it's just, it, it makes a collection complete so I'm, I'm trying to keep it like that but Obviously, if I'm at a car boot and I see loads of SNES games, loads of Mega Drive games, single, I'll still buy them. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna try and keep it as as neat as I can. Uh, obviously, I've only got a small collection of those, so they're they're obviously hard to come by. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully, I will find more soon. Uh, this is my Philips CRT TV. Uh, we've got a few of the McDonald's toys up there, and then a stand underneath. I got this free actually off off Gumtree. Um, I just typed in on, on the free biz TVs and found one and thought yeah let's go and pick that up so for free you, you can't go wrong. We've got a snares in there which I can do with a little bit of a clean up. Uh, none of these are attached with the wires, it's a bit dark in there so you can't see but I, I don't attach any of the, the wires just because it becomes a mess. Um, all the wires are in 
bags, so behind the TV, you've got like Sega, Nintendo, so it's all labelled up and I just need to go in there, grab the, the right wire and then plug it all in. Uh, Sega Mega Drive, uh, one there, and then we've got a Nintendo 64 and a slim PS1. Over this side then we've got a little canvas up there which is just Lego, different Lego games, Batman, Star Wars. Uh, I've had that for quite a while but never been able to put it anywhere. A big DC Universe poster there. And then I've got a lot of Xbox magazine posters. Um, I've, I've got quite a few of the magazines so these, these have just sort of stacked up over time. So you've got Assassin's Creed, Batman and Dead Rising. A box down here which is where I keep all the controllers in. Uh, and a few of so you've got like the 3D glasses for your games uh, and pretty much just controllers. Uh, I've got really nowhere to put that, so that's why it just sits there. It's kind of kind of annoying me a bit, but I'll find somewhere eventually. Um, obviously, window the curtains are ridiculous, so I'll probably get those changed. I might might get my mum to make me some gaming ones or something. That'd be cool. A uh, guitar at this side, and then. This this is a, I can't wait to show you this. I love it. <laughs> this is a Halo Mega Blocks. Um, started off with just one of these egg things, this drop pods, and then uh, that was m my wife bought me that, and then she bought me another one, then another one, and I kept asking for more. Um, and then they'd just been stored away in in like little bags somewhere. So whilst I had this space on top here, I didn't know what to put there, and I thought ah, so I grabbed these out and I set up a little battle scene. So I'll just I'll go through <laughs> with you now what's going on. Um, so obviously you've got the Spartans at this side, the Covenant at that side, and then this is where they meet in the middle, so they've come out in the vehicles, so obviously you've got one over here, and one here which is sort of crashed. We've got a dead jackal there, we've got a head of an elite just down there, as if he's been run over, and another elite there with his legs under the car, uh, a grunt on there with his plasma grenades as they always are. And yeah, I just thought, I just went my way around this and set up something pretty cool, so it looks like they've crashed in, they've come out. And obviously we've got a Hunter here as well, which he's about to take out with his dual wield wielding assault rifles. Uh, and then this spot is a bit outnumbered at that side. We've got a Banshee there at the back, um, a Grunt on a turret, or a Plasma Can, I think they call them. And then we've got a big, big um, Brute here. He's got a Hammer there, and he's got a Spiker, I think they're called. And yeah, I just I just kept going with it and I put them all out. I've obviously got quite a few pieces. And I just thought, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, especially just having a little games room. Whilst well, you've got this top set on the top here, it's, it's good to set this up. So uh, The only problem is it's, you know, this stupid black gloss stuff, which, yeah, it looks nice. And look, I've nearly just destroyed it already. Um, but, you know, you get your fingerprints, your dust. And obviously, can you imagine trying to dust around all this? So I can't imagine it's going to last very long. I'll probably keep swapping and changing it. Um, I don't know what into, but this will probably change quite often, I can imagine. Especially if my little boy comes in and picks them up all the time. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it looked really cool. Whilst I, had, whilst I had the space, why not? Underneath here, then, we've got... So I'll keep them in generations. I know some people will keep Xbox together. Some people keep PlayStation. Um, I just try to stick to the generation. So you've got... Uh, again, I couldn't tell you what generation it is. Uh, six, if I just went off the top of my head. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we've got GameCube, PS2, Slim, Dreamcast, and the Crystal Xbox. Again, no wires plugged in because it just becomes a mess. So I'll just get the wires out when I need them. And then the generation after that, which is the 360, Nintendo Wii, and the PS3. PS3 doesn't work. It's just there for sure more than anything else. And the 360 is the cool um, Halo Reach limited edition one. Obviously, lamp to make sure it's all lit up. We've got a halo poster there. I've left all this blank, so I'm thinking of putting some shelves up and more posters and making it. Whilst I've got this, uh, I want to make like a little halo shrine thing going on. Uh, four come right over the top, and then we come to the shelves, which is the main bulk of the collection. So I'll start from the top. If you've watched, you know, if you've been a sub or you've watched my videos before, you'll know that Dreamcast is my favourite to collect for. Uh, mainly for nostalgic reasons, but at the same time, I just love, I love the cases, I love the artwork and everything. I love Sonic. It's just, it's, I just love collecting for the Dreamcast for a, a number of reasons. Uh, so yeah, I've got some games up there. I'll not go through every one what they are. Uh, Shenmue, House of Dead Two box set with the gun. A couple more up there. Resident Evil Two, a little Sonic Teddy sitting at the top. This little thing. This is obviously Sonic, but it's like a little pixelated. 
Lego Lego version and it, it was a nightmare to put together because you imagine how small these pieces are. Um, but yeah, so I try not to touch that because it'll just fall apart. More games going up that side. I think those stands, are, they're from Electronics Boutique, which were bought out by a game, and there was like, I think it was purposely designed for Dreamcast games, so I'm really happy to get those because it just makes it look so much better. First shelf at the top, uh, this is a little mess because I, I, I was literally filming another video and then decided no, I'll start again. <laughs> uh, we've got an SP here, a little Bulbasaur, which I got from Keen, which is awesome. And then we've got DS games. 3DS games and Game Boy Color. Uh, so obviously I'm a big fan of Pokemon, like you know, because I've got Pokemon everywhere. Um, but yeah, these are all I've, I've you know I paid the full price, uh, bought them all on eBay, made sure there was all good condition manuals and everything. So I don't know, I really enjoy that part of collecting. So I, I didn't mind spending a bit more. And then we've got Perfect Dark. My uh, absolutely huge Nintendo Wii collection um, there's obviously too many games to go through so I'll just I'll just uh, I'll just move them to one side uh, one GameCube game Golden Knife N64 at the top and then again it's a bit dark in here can I let's see if I can do anything does this work I've seen people do this before no no it's not working uh, basically you've got Yoshi's Story FIFA uh, Golden Eye again and uh, Majora's Mask so I keep that sort of Nintendo up there, and then underneath is PlayStation One. Again, I'll, like, I'll, I'll collect these. I know a lot of people don't. Uh, basically, so Crash Bandicoot, for example, everyone knows it's a brilliant game. Um, I've only got it on platinum, so I'm not going to get rid of it just because it's platinum. If I do find the black label, I'll put that in and then probably trade that out. So. That's sort of what I'm doing. Because uh, of the colour, mainly the colour difference, that's why I keep them on their own. Because, uh, you know, when you get little silver ones here, there, it just, it just ruins it. So I'll just fl flick through. I think my favourite ones is probably Digimon World. Uh, that's one of my favourite, as is the Sub War. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few, obviously, good titles on the PS1. Again, all those are, you know, pop complete, no broken hinges or anything. I, I figure if I'm going to collect, I'm going to collect you know, and keep it all in good condition rather than collect junk. Uh, I've got a 19 inch uh, HDTV there and it's, you know, it acts as everything. There's like a PC monitor, it's it's also, it's a built-in DVD player. Uh, so, and it just fits perfectly in this little shelf. So I drilled a hole in the back where the uh, wires can be. So, you know, you can be sat down, you're not seeing any wires. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, you know, it looks cool there. And then we've got PS2 underneath with a few PS3 and PSP games. Again, I've done the same. Obviously, Platinum is there, and the rest is is uh, the actual white labels. It, obviously, compared to the Xbox and stuff, it doesn't look too good because it's all it's just too plain. As when you look down here, you've got all the different different uh, colours and stuff. So I don't, I don't really enjoy collecting for the PS2. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few games going along there. I'd need to go through my PS2 games because I've got if I'm moving, I've got about 300 copies of Vice City. <laughs> um, where else is there? Canis, Cadam. Like I've got. I just need to go through and filter some of the, the bad stuff out and get rid of some stuff. And then Xbox underneath. This this is where you know big shelving units become a problem because yeah it's good that you can fit two rows there but then when it gets like this I've got original Xbox at the back which you can't see and then you know if you need to get a game you've got to drag all these out and then go to the back and get them uh, but I, I suppose if you end up with loads of games I mean I could probably fit another one of these shelving units in here and that'll probably be it um, so I, I suppose it helps with being able to store stuff away. Uh, but yeah, I've got original Xbox at the back. I won't drag everything out and show you everything. Um, and then 360 games sort of start there after the Halo Reach. Uh, obviously behind that. Come to the end and carry on. And then I keep, again, classics are separate. And then I'll have my steel books. I love collecting these. The Bioshock one's my favourite. I think it just looks incredible. Um, and it's a really good game as well. Uh, Gears of War Judgment. Lost Planet Resident Evil. And then my big black box Halo Reach edition and then I put my Xbox, my Xbox One's downstairs but I keep the games up here uh, 
just because they're out of the way then and it's you know with the collection where it should be uh, otherwise they're going to get lonely lonely all by themselves in the living room <laughs> Uh, Minecraft is is a really good game. I, you've probably all played it, but I've recently started playing that, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so that's what I spend all my time on at the moment. Um, underneath, we've got a few bits and pieces. So we've got the Fact Files from Star Wars, which I subscribe to. Uh, I enjoyed it for a while, and then it just got ridiculous. Um, it it became a bit of a joke, and the customer service was shocking. So I ju I just ended it. Uh, but yeah, I've got two folders there. P uh, PC games at the top, Zoo Tycoon uh, 1 and 2. And I think there's a roller coaster Tycoon, a few McDonald's toys, a controller. See all this like box stuff? I've got box controllers and expansion packs and stuff. I'd like to put those on a shelf um, and you know make it a little more because it's a bit bare just having plain walls. Uh, so that'll all get moved soon. And then we've got at the back there some uh, game manuals, uh, not manuals, sorry, uh, guidebooks. Um, I don't really use them, but I just, I mean, this Fable one looks really smart. Obviously, it looks like a, just a design of everything, the gold page. But I pretty much know everything about Fable there is to know anyway, so I don't really need it. But if you're going to collect stuff, you might as well obviously collect this edition. So, yeah, it just looks really cool, so I thought, why not? And then I've got all the boxes to everything here at the side. Uh, again, some sealed controllers and stuff, which would be better on shelf. So I'll try and thin that out. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to have the boxes, I suppose. And then some more teddies on the top. This poster I got from Play Blackpool last year. Um, I wasn't sure if we was actually supposed to take them or anything, but I just took it anyway. I'm sure I'm sure they're not gonna. Sure, they don't mind, but it's it's really cool. It's got all your, you know, your, from your first console, your Amstrad, Segas, everything's on there, till nineteen ninety nine, and yeah, it's just if you're gonna have a retro games room, I think that's a perfect poster to have. So yeah, I really like it. Obviously, this is doors, so that's why I need to get rid of these boxes because it sort of it's in the way of the door that opens. It's like a little walk-in wardrobe. And then we've got Amiibos. I never was a big fan of Amiibos. Uh, I think the idea of it's a bit stupid to be honest, uh, but obviously they're good to collect for. I didn't want to bother collecting them all because I knew I'd spend a fortune. Um, and like it, it, you know, it's one of those things it's it will wear off and will they ever be worth loads? Like, I can't imagine they will. Uh, but I've just got, you know, I've got the Pikachu down there which is opened, and then I've got these two which are sealed Yoshi and Star Fox. I didn't bother going for the rare ones or anything, I just, you know, they're the characters I like, so I thought I'd have those. And then we end with another little cupboard and another Las Vegas poster. And that's it. Um, obviously it's really good to have, you know, my own space where I can come and play games and stuff. Every, I mean, everyone who's on YouTube watches these type of videos wants their own games room. I've been wanting one for like two years now. I always watch different videos all the time and look for ideas. Um, so if you're watching this and you you know you're making your own get your own games room, then you know feel free to take all the ideas. That's what you do. Make make it your own. Uh, that's exactly what I've done. Um, we'll we'll see if anyone else gets any fish tanks in the games room. I have to keep an eye out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, good to be back. I've definitely got more time now than I used to have. So uh, there should be more content. A lot, you know, probably once every couple of weeks, once every week maybe. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, whether it's going to be gameplays or um, like blog type stuff or reviews, but I'll definitely do something. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back. Good to be back. Um, I've got a lot of catching up to do with all your videos, so I'll be watching all those. And, and yeah, so I'm happy to be back and I'll see you soon.